Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here, crazy cat artist. I'm sorry I'm starting this one part way through. It's because I forgot to turn the record button on. But I thought I would slow it right down to real time here so you can see what I'm doing. I haven't forgotten to turn the record button on for a long time yet, but I guess it happens. So I got the basic shapes in and I'm just kind of darkening up some lines here. And it looks to me like this kitty is watching a bug. Or they just get into that trance. They keep our homes safe from bugs. Not that most bugs are much of a problem anyways, but I'm liking the expression I got on Kitty's face. It's just really about shapes and angles at this point. And that tail, when I was drawing the tail, I kind of tried to forget that it was a tail and just went for the shape. The shape of the negative space and the negative space if you don't know the negative space is a space that isn't the cat so the ca the space surrounding the cat and sometimes that's a good thing to focus on now we're going to speed up here to three times the speed while i continue to voice over that cute little nosy Sometimes when I add a feature, it, it every time you change something in your drawing, it, it can change the whole balance of the drawing. So when you change one thing, that's when you notice something else needs to change too. And we just do our best working our way around it. A bit of tabby stripes to shape the face and to add character. Just a suggestion of toe beans there. Suggestion of toes, I guess. I'm just kind of feeling my way around, seeing what needs to be done next. I do love to hear from you, so please drop me a comment. Tell me about yourself or your cat or where you live in the world or who your favorite singer is or whatever. I just love to hear from you. Just finishing touches here. Kind of make the things that need to stand out, stand out. A bit of tone. I like the expression I've captured here. I kind of feel like the kitty looks more like it's looking at us rather than looking up at a bug, but the body posture is right for looking up at a bug. I just, you know, the where the pupil is and where the highlight in the pupil of the eye is really go a long way towards showing which way kitty is looking. You can play with that. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.